Hi, thanks for stopping by today. It's Christy. And I have a quick project share, technique share. It's going, <clears throat> I'm prepping paper napkins to go into a project that I will be making soon. Um, I found some paper napkins I want to use in this project. I wanted to give them some more stability make them a little bit easier to work with. So in thinking about that, I um, was remembered a video by Shannon Green that she had done, and I will put the link below, of um, a technique that she had shared using Yes Paste on paper napkins. I do not have Yes Paste. Uh, and I kind of looked for it in my local stores. But then I thought, why don't I see if I can use what I have on hand um, to see if I can get the same kind of feel, same kind of results. So I ran some tests and I used just, I pulled different paper napkins out of my stash to... Um, play around with the technique because I didn't want to use um, the napkins that I collected for the actual project in case if it didn't work then I could go to plan B without uh, wasting those. Um, Shannon used Yes Paste. I think she used it on deli paper, wax paper, parchment paper. She experimented with all different types of things. I do not have any of those things, but what I do have are these non-stick baking mats that I use for my craft mats. I had picked them up um, uh, they were in clearance at one of my stores. I picked up a bunch of them, and this is what I use instead of a craft mat. So the first thing I tried was just with Mod Podge, regular Mod Podge, painted it down, laid the napkin on top, uh, and then put another coat on top and let it dry. Let me see if you can see what that looks like. First of all, they peel up super easily. So here's a couple that I used and I put this white background so you can see and they're just they're translucent it gives them body and I think I should be able to cut them out fairly easily from them um, so I was really happy with how this came out so I used these two Napkins, of course, you peel apart all the layers, and you only use the top layer. I tried, and this was the uh, glossy Mod Podge, because that's what I had on hand. So, I just played around with what I had. So, once... I got through this, um, I thought, well, what else do I have for glue that I can try as long as I was working on it? So this, and this actually feels really good. This is part of one of the napkins. Um, it was a leftover scrap. In this, I used this craft fantastic that I had uh, glazing glue that I had picked up at I think it was at creating keepsakes a couple of years ago I really this has um, it's thicker than the Mod Podge uh, I, it feels just a little bit more substantial so I liked how this came out and then I thought well let me see if I can try, how about tacky glue? How would that work? So I use that. Now this is, doesn't, it is peeling off, um, 
but it doesn't peel off quite as easily as the Mod Podge did. Oh, and that feels good too. This I think I can definitely, feels thicker than the Mod Podge, but that same type of plastic skin kind of feel. They're still translucent if you want to use them in a project. Um, you will definitely get hints of what's going on behind it in terms of background. So just something to think about for my purposes. I think I'm putting the background on top of, or the napkins on top of a white background. So that'll be fine. This last experiment was just with plain old white glue that I've got from the dollar store, two for a dollar. I figured I'll check that. So let's see how this peels up very easily. It's almost papery. Um, still substantial. N I actually like the feel of this a lot too. It doesn't, um, the, the, um, tacky glue almost has like, um, a rubberized feel to it. This does not, um, it still definitely would work for what I'm looking to use it for. Um, the price is right, 50 cents for this bottle of glue. So that's definitely a thought. Um, but let me show you. So that's what I experimented with. I did just my Mod Podge. Like I said, I used the Glossy. 50 cents a bottle white glue from the Dollar Tree. This is the tacky glue that I use. I have found it at AC Moore. Um, I believe it's 99 cents a bottle. At least it was the last time I was in there. Um, though I haven't picked it up in a while. In the Craft Fantastic Glazing Glue. This is... Um, it's thicker than all of the other ones. This is probably the thickest one that came out. Um, I don't know because I've never actually used glossy accents, but I tend to think of this along the lines of what a glossy accents would be. I don't know if that's right or not. Just how I hear people use glossy accents and how they describe it, that's kind of what I have in my mind. But like I said, I've never used glossy accents. So I don't know for sure. Now, I did try, I will let you know, um, as part of the experiments, I had some of this Beacon 3-in-1. Uh, this is the stuff that is, oh, it's thick and it's goopy and it's just... Um, grabs quickly. It's great for a lot of things. I laid it down on my craft mat and then I couldn't even spread it to see how that would work. So that did not work for me. Um, but the, it was, I was just going through all of my glues to see what might work, what might not work. Um, <clears throat> So this I tried. I didn't even get as far as putting a napkin down on it. Um, so if you use it and you experiment with it and it works, give me a shout and let me know how you did so it. So the final part of this experiment was to see um, how each of these napkins with each of these adhesives would hold up uh, when you go to apply them. I know with the Yes Paste, Shannon had some issues uh, with the paste reactivating once it got wet, so that created some challenges for her. Um, 
and I just wanted to do a little experimenting before actually breaking into the the napkins that I want to use on the wall hanging. So what I did was I just took a piece of white cardstock um, and I tried each of the napkins with each of the glues. This one was the Mod Podge one. This was the Fantastic Glazing Glue from Craft Fantastic. Just white glue and tacky glue. And I just put it on a piece of white cardstock because that, I believe, is going to be the base of what I'll be using uh, the other napkins on. And they held together. They uh, This one is ripped a little bit, but I had done that in the process of laying the glue down. That white glue is probably the wettest of everything that I use so that the corners did uh, catch a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with how this came out. I'm glad that I have some alternatives to work with. Um, and I can make my decisions from here. So again, thank you, Shannon, for uh, the beginning of the inspiration. Thank you to actually my mom, who uh, remembered that I had those craft mats and said, why don't you just use one of those? Um, and I can't wait um, to get going on my project, and I will definitely keep you updated as I put it together. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye. I want to show you the napkins that I'll be using in my project. They're Mackenzie Childs. They coordinate. The pattern coordinates with something else that I have going on in the room that it's going into. Um, so, and while I do have more of these on the way, I definitely wanted to get my technique and kind of my direction worked out before I actually put glue to this. They're kind of I will definitely be hoarding these. <laughs> um, so, but these are the colors that I'll be going with. I'm making a wall hanging and this will be a part of it. Um, so I did just want to get everything worked out before I took glue to these beautiful napkins and wanted to kind of get a direction to go in. So, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. I'd appreciate it if you like the video. Give it a thumbs up if you have any thoughts uh, on this technique or other things to try. Just go ahead and leave me a comment. Have a great day. Bye.